You know, all of us rely on some level of encryption to keep our online bank and medical records uh, safe from prying eyes, but encryption is a dirty word to the NSA. CNN's Brian Todd says the agency's working on a new generation of supercomputer that can break even the strongest security codes. Encryption, those scrambled codes that protect our most sensitive information online, shield the most top secret crucial data that governments possess from hackers and cyber spies. Now, the NSA is reportedly developing what's called a quantum computer. When it's complete, it'll be able to break just about any encryption in the world. When NSA gets that quantum computer, what will it be able to do? Quantum computing will be a game changer. It will make it a lot easier for NSA to break the codes that foreign governments use, that foreign criminal groups use. But NSA will also be able to break encryption codes that we all use to protect our bank accounts, emails, medical records. A privacy advocate says that may lead to a world with no secrets, where it would be almost pointless trying to protect anything. We don't know for the most part, in fact, what the capabilities are, what steps are being taken to undermine the types of encryption that you and I might rely on, for example, when we go online to purchase a book or download some music. Recently, we learned that... The quantum computer program is revealed in documents provided by NSA leaker Edward Snowden and reported by the Washington Post. How would this supercomputer work? When a regular computer tries to solve a problem, it has to go through each possible solution, one by one by one, until it arrives at the correct answer. What makes a quantum computer so special is that it simultaneously tries every possibility, arriving at the correct answer much quicker. According to the documents, the quantum computer is being developed at this lab in College Park, Maryland. How close is NSA to finishing this computer? Experts say it could be anywhere from five years away to a decade or more. Contacted by CNN, the NSA wouldn't comment on the project. Brian Todd, CNN, Washington. Thanks, Brian. Republican Senator Rand Paul has announced a class action lawsuit aimed at stopping the NSA surveillance of cell phone use by Americans. He says the goal is to uphold the Fourth Amendment right against unreasonable searches and seizures. Paul says the NSA's data collection program is so widespread and indiscriminate that nearly everybody in the country could be affected. We now have several hundred thousand people who want to be part of this suit to say to the government and to the NSA, no, you can't have our records without our permission or without a warrant specific to an individual. So it's kind of an unusual class action suit in the sense that we think everybody in America who has a cell phone would be eligible for this class action suit. The NSA denies that its actions violate the privacy of U.S. citizens.